Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Just a quick video to show you the procedure to update Navigraph database with the latest ERAC. Some of you have issues. If you look now in my screen, I have an updated database. So first of all, a quick explanation about this button update database. This is to update the uh, FSI Panel stock database it will not update the Navigraph database. This is just for the airport that are not contained in a Navigraph set. So for example, maybe small airfield in Alaska or this kind of airfield will be taken from this stock database coming directly from MSFS. But most of the airport will use the Navigraph database. Right now, as you can see, the database is not updated. So the best way to do it is to use the uh, Navigraph FMS Data Manager application that you can download from your account. And you can see right there that I have one entry for FSI panel. So this is probably what happens to some of you guys because you had FSI panel version one or version 2017. So that entry doesn't point to the right place. So if you go now to add on mapping, you can see that this entry is bringing us somewhere in a program file. Okay, so how can we add the new FSI panel version? You just press the scan button right here. And now, as you can see, we have two entries for FSI panel. One is pointing now to the user folder. This is the good one. So we will update now FSI panel and see if it works. So we'll just save that scan now and we will update the right FSI panel and see what happened. All right, so now if I go to my add-on list again, I can see two and three for FSI panel. The first one, we know we said it's not the correct one. That's for old version. This one is the new one. So what, what I will do to make sure I will update both of those. Update. And normally once this is done, you should have the latest ERAC 2207 updated. You can even remove the entry for FSI panel 2017 if you're not using it anymore. Okay, second one. And we will have a look at FSI panel. Probably we need to reset it. Okay, this is done. So now if I go to setup, I still have the old one because I have to restart FSI panel. So let's restart FSI panel. Setup. And now you can, as you can see, I have the right cycle 2207 from the 14th of July to the 11th of August. All right, this is how to update FSI panel 2020 with the latest ERAC from Navigraph. Soon we'll be able to use uh, the other software from Navigraph, which is the Nav Data Center. That one will be updated very soon with FSI panel entry, and you will be able to use that one instead of the uh, Navigraph FMS Data Manager. All right. Hope you will be able to update your, your ERAC to 2207. As always, stay safe and safe landings. Bye-bye.